What's up, guys? You're welcome to Emacom TV, where we publish news on politics and entertainment. All right, we have another trending news for you today. And the headline here read, Desmond Elliott and Wasiu Sani in trouble as Legations order for their recall over anti answers comments. All right, before I proceed with today's news, please, if this is the first time you are watching any of our videos on our channel there is a red subscribe button below this video just go ahead hit on the red subscribe button to remain updated with all our latest news and updates here are the news in details trouble ahead as nigerian call for the recall of desmond elliot and wasio sani and others Lagosians are very angry with Nollywood superstar and an honorable member in the Lagos State House of Assembly, Desmond Elliott, and some of his colleagues for speaking up in support of the anti-social media bill. Desmond Elliott, on his part, tongue-lashed the youths and described them as lazy ingrates capable of derailing the government with their false narratives on social media. His colleague, Honorable Mojisola Ali Makole said the youth are always high on drugs and not capable of any leadership capacity. Well, the internet has done justice to all their rant as Twitter and other social media platforms have dragged them out. Honorable Mojisola has since been exposed for hiding COVID-19 palliative only for her to share same as souvenir for a birthday. Anyway, not done, our Twitter users have started a campaign to recall the following lawmakers Desmond Elliott, Wasiu Sani, Mojisola Ali Makoli of uh, Amuo Odofin, and Sinai Agumbiade. This was how the answer started like a joke and ended up as a global concern with reform well on the way. Savage people are all over the internet and intellectually sounded, intellectually sound for that matter too. See some reaction on Twitter to the insensitivity of the lawmakers. Dr. Chioma Nwakuma says, When Desmond Elliot mentioned pregnant women looting, I have expected that the next humane thing he will question will be how badly have we failed our people that they put their life in danger and even their unborn children and then go about the looting. Can we retrace and fix this? Another person here uh, commented, he says, Benjamin Amechi said, If we rant only on Twitter, this Nigerian politician will continue to rubbish us. Let's begin the recall of Despion Elliot, Wasiu Sani, Mojisola Ali Makoli of Amuo Odofin. Sinai Ogumbia Day and let's send a strong statement for them to sit up. Mojisola Ali Makoli is a person who is always high on drugs all the time. For her to loot the COVID-19 palliative meant for the poor as a birthday souvenir, never forget Desmond Elliott called us children. It don't read though, like joke, like joke. Egungu don't enter express. Osigwe Omo, Okidoda. All right, guys. Uh, guys are not actually smiling after Desmond Elliott and uh, his colleague actually berated the youth. You get uh, Desmond Elliott he was even more emphatic. He called the youth children. You get me, and even called them ingrates. So you see here that there was a lot of tension that was generated. Though Desmond Elliott had apologized, he said a. Uh, um, he was highly emotional that day and all of that. But Nigerian youth are not buying into that. They've told him that some youth told him, go and wait till 2023. But some youth are not even buying that. They want action immediately. And they have begun the process of recalling Desmond Elliot, Wasil, Sani. This lady said that Nigerian youth are always high on drugs. That's what she said. As if drug is a new thing. There is no youth all over the world that does not uh, uh, um, uh, get high. Some youth get high on drug. It's a normal thing. That one is not even a problem. We are looking at the problem of the country. Is it the youth that is a problem of the country? No. Actually, it is the leaders. 
you get me? There is something boiling on ground already which we expect them to even deliberate on. It's just like what Two Face says. Two Face says there's something boiling on ground. And even it's what Daddy Free says. Something is boiling on ground and it's just like your dustbin is catching fire and then your house is also catching fire. You leave your house catching fire. You ignore it and go and quench the fire in the dustbin. Is that not stupidity? Now, there's an issue on ground. Youth have been killed during this ENSAS protest. The army, they initially deny, you know, being involved. And later on, say they let, they, 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 after they have been disgraced openly by, by Sao Lu, you get? They came out and said that um, Sao Lu would order them to come. And later on, they said they didn't shoot any bullets. And later on, admitted that they shot only blank bullet. That's what they said. Blank bullet. So you see here that there's a lot of things to be discussed. But these useless politicians did not even discuss any of this. Rather, they are tackling social media. Just because um, Minister of Information, Lai Mohammed, said that we must regulate social media before it destroys us. That one... Like Mohammed said, of which in the house, in the very house of reps, he brought that notion in. He was berated as member of the house of rep, I think from Delta State, told him that they are good of the, the, the there's the positive side of social media and there's also the negative side. Why is he not talking about the positive side? Why the negative side? You get the advantage far outweighs the disadvantage. So you see, these are politicians always speak for themselves. They only think about themselves, you get, and their family. They don't think about no one else. Now, what surprised all of them most, especially, is that how were the youth able to organize themselves without a leader? Ensa's movement had no leader. How were they able to organize themselves? That is a mystery. And that is what we can even say. We can even say it yesterday. He said that the way Ensa's protests organize themselves until today. The intelligence operatives in the country were not able to detect to know who is their leader and how they were able to organize themselves shows that Nigeria can never defeat Boko Haram. Because defeating Boko Haram will actually need intelligence work. And our intelligence are not actually doing anything. That is a problem, you see. That's it. That's why you see they don't have a good intelligence system. Bandits will come operate in a particular place for up to three hours without being engaged, without being, you know, uh, uh, on challenge. Those bandits will come rape, kill people, loot a particular, you know, city, and they will go totally unchallenged. That is a problem, guys. That's a problem. So these youth, these leaders, Despian Elliot and Wasu. Uh, um, uh, was you sunny? You get me? They are all fools. They are all fools. They are supposed to. This one is a youth. He's supposed to be speaking for the youth. But look at him. Look at what is the. In fact, virtually all the celebrities in Nigeria, we give them kudos for actually backing the youth. Yes, all of them. They all came out. The likes of Ay Life. You get me? Uh, uh, P Square and the rest of them. Final. You know, Davido. All of them, we skin all on the, they all spoke up against the ills in the society. But how many of our politicians we elected? How many of them did anything? Nothing. So these guys are fools and their day is over. The recall has just begun. So what do you guys think? Drop your comment below. Let me know what you think. This is Malcolm TV. God bless you.